Hello, precious souls. Welcome to Infinite Union, a twin flame journey. I'm Aura, and this is a podcast on twin flames. For more videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Twin flames have many powers, many gifts, and there are several things to keep in mind that can stop twin flames from reuniting. So let's face it, you can't stop thinking about them. You love them, but what is it about reuniting with them that you can't stop thinking about? It's your soul calling to you, letting you know that it's time for these changes and only you have free will to them. And this soul calling is most certainly your twin flame, but also it is the spiritual self calling to you, letting you know that it is time. It's time for these changes. It's time to wake up and get ready for an unbelievable day of self-creation, of spiritually mastering what it's like to become the most authentic version you could possibly be. Imagine the version that knew everything there was about you, knew how to love you, knew exactly how to appreciate you, and yet as a result of not paying attention to taking care of yourself, you pay attention to them and what your twin flame is not doing. Deep down, you just don't believe that they are capable of loving you, and just when you think the separation is over, they disappoint you again and again. This is where we learn from our experiences and use our spiritual gifts and discover our truest potential within us. So here are some things that can most certainly stop twin flames from reuniting. Number one, relying on others in order to feel self-love. This can be a constant battle within yourself, which is also a sign that you need external validation from outside in order to feel love from within. And this is simply not true. So I did post a collective message and I wish to quote that, we are simply learning to reflect God's compassion. Everyone you meet is a mirror, not just your twin flame. But it is easy to see when we like or love whoever or whatever is in front of us. And when we dislike, it's more challenging to accept. So therefore, it can continue to be a constant battle within yourself. Don't allow yourself to be fooled by others or external validation. Live in the moment and be true to who you really are. Number two. You constantly stalk, watch, or see what your twin flame is up to. So let's face it, stalking, watching, or feeding in any kind of this energy is very unhealthy and most certainly should not be entertained in any way. As a spiritual twin, you should focus on your spiritual mission instead of your twin flame. Shifting your energy will most certainly attract your twin flame to you in a much more positive way. But if you have been thinking about them lately while you have been focused on your spiritual journey and also just simply going about your day, it is most certainly possible that they are as well. Number three, believing that there is no growth during separation. So without a doubt, twin flames can go through what's called as a soul shock while experiencing twin flame separation. And soul shock can actually be described as severe, heavy PTSD, if you would like to put it into a nutshell. But this is also a time to heal from whatever it is that you need to heal from. Allow yourself to feel every emotion, no matter what it is. And also come to understand that every separation period will always be temporary. This is even for everyday events or periods in our life. So separation is always a time for growth and expansion because the moment our twin flame comes back, it is almost as if we are getting ourselves ready and prepared for the next spiritual chapter with our twin flame, even when we are in any type of separation. Number four, not energy 
cleansing daily. So like mentioned in one of my previous videos, repetition also comes with consistency. So therefore, if you are not feeling refreshed and if you are kind of dragging every day, maybe you need to go to a spa or you need to do some energy clearing, this will help along the way because if we are not, how can our twin flame return to us if we are not? They will sense the stagnant energy and this may retract and they will obviously repel again so we don't don't despair and if you are consistent with your routines with routines also comes patience and also spiritual awakenings and come awareness so energy cleansing can also be in the form of meditation herbs whatever it is that works for you number five believing that separation is constant so like I mentioned in some of my previous videos, separation is always an illusion. And this also includes third party situations and time spent apart regardless of what is happening in the physical. And, you know, talking about this time apart, it is an illusion because once you get closer to your reunion and you reunite with your twin flame, all that time spent apart will be as if it never existed. And I would like to jump to Neville Goddard's law of assumption because this is how we are and this is how we become a vibrational magnet, not just to our twin flame, but with everything that we attract. And our beliefs can attract many things, but when it comes to the law of assumption, it's like I know, like I know, like I know. So your continuous belief of it never ending is what keeps you in that constant loop. And that's what keeps twin flames apart. The longer you hold on to that concept, the longer you spend apart from your twin flame. Number six, not accepting your spiritual gifts. So despite twin flames having a spiritual mission together and also sharing some similar common goals, you also have spiritual gifts to explore for your own benefit. And we do this when we are actually apart from our twin flame. And this can also benefit you in the long run. But if you ignore these gifts, you can spend a lot of time physically apart from your twin flame and you may experience some more painful spiritual spiritual lessons, but also remember that your twin flame is not a conventional relationship. It is a connection and a spiritual connection. So the more you spend on your spiritual journey, the more that they feel shifted and drawn to you. And lastly, I would like to talk about ignoring your spirituality. So um, this those two actually go hand in hand and we can forget who we are just from our day-to-day -day activities, things that we're doing, careers, jobs, stuff like that. And we can forget who we spiritually are even as this time goes on. So life can get a hold of us and bring us in many directions, but don't lose yourself during some of the most precious moments in this journey, in this journey and during this journey, continue to grow, continue to expand, continue to discover yourself in the most wonderful ways. Try new things, explore new adventures, building social networks, explore new connections, because this is what makes twin flames twin flames. The ability to self-create and manifest the outer reality from the inside because the rest doesn't even really matter it's always about you and how you create your outer reality so i hope that this assisted many of you listening right now until next time i'm aura and this is infinite union a twin flame journey <laughs>